Hey guys, um, I just thought I'd do, I would film my um, supper tonight. And what I'm making is veggie lo mein, which is a happy herbivore recipe. And I'll just show you the book. So this is Lindsay Nixon's book, Everyday Happy Herbivore. That's where it's coming from. And that is what it looks like. And so it calls for some red pepper flakes, some ginger, rice vinegar, soy sauce, which I'm going to use this coconut aminos for the first time because it's lower in sodium, garlic powder, some, uh, I'm just looking at the recipe book here, what it calls for, Asian hot sauce. So I'm going to use my sweet Thai chili, calls for some maple syrup. It calls for mushrooms, green onions, garlic, and it calls for some veggies that you like. And I'm using this Kirkland, Kirkland brand stir-fry blend. I like it because it has water chestnuts. The only thing I don't like are the little baby corns, but those will be generously donated to my dogs. And I think it says optional to add another, like any other vegetables you like. And I like celery and I like peppers, so I'll stick those in as well. So I'll be right back when everything's all cut up. Okay guys, so I spared you all my chopping. This is the green onion, the garlic, which actually I'll just show you the garlic I had. That's what it was, and it just, it doesn't smell like garlic, it doesn't look right, it's kind of translucent instead of white. So I'm switching it out for this minced garlic that I got at Costco. It also called for some diced up or chopped up uh, ginger, and I forgot to mention that, so that's what that is. And then there's the chili flakes. Over here I've chopped up one of my red peppers some celery and then actually I increased the amount of vegetable I almost doubled it I know that my husband and I really like a lot of veggies here I've got the sauce mixed up ready to go in so I can basically just begin cooking and the main ingredient of a veggie lo mein would need the noodles forgot to mention that but that is the noodles and uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start cooking so here's everything cooking, the, the beginning items, and it's had about a minute. And now the recipe says to just put in all the other vegetables, but I like, I'm going to put in the mushrooms first and cook them for an additional few minutes just because every recipe I've ever encountered does this. So I figure there must be a reason. And once they've had maybe two, three minutes, then I'll add all the other veggies. Okay, that's had a few minutes, so now I'm just going to go ahead and add in all the rest of the ingredients, of the vegetables anyway. And I'm adding frozen in, just frozen, because the other things need to cook anyway. So it'll all work out. mix that all up. Okay, so I've mixed it all up. I put the lid on, let it steam, um, just add a little, like a tablespoon or two of water as necessary to keep it from sticking. Got my noodles cooking over here. And I just thought I'd mention that the uh, recipe does say to cut off, like just use the, the green onion whites. Basically cut off the ends and the really green part. So I I took off just the tip, but because there wasn't a whole lot of white on my green onions, I used a fairly good portion of the of the greens. Okay, and then the one last thing I just wanted to mention is that um, with the Happy Herbivore recipes, this recipe is made is designed for two people, and so I doubled that because. Um, I find with Lindsay's recipes, she helps people to lose weight 
old style method. She's into counting your calories, keeping it around that 1200 figure and exercising a lot. So you don't get a whole lot when you make her recipes, at least this particular one. So I've doubled it. I probably should have quadrupled it, but I'll just make sure that we have a side of something, vegetables or something to go with this. And I'll be back when it's uh, just about ready to be tossed together. Okay, so I just mixed everything together. Noodles are on top. I put the sauce in and just bear with me here. Trying to toss it all together. But that's the basic look of it. And everything has reduced quite a bit, so my opinion is now that this is definitely a meal for one. But it'll be okay. Um, I should have quadrupled it, but next time I'll try to remember that. Uh, but to make do, we'll cook up some potatoes have those on the sides and veggies that kind of thing anyway hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you on the next one so these are a couple blackberries from my garden i didn't think that any of them were going to come through due to maybe it being cooler this year i'm not sure but lo and behold there are a couple of them out there I'll watch see if any more come up, but these are so good. And I'm going to have them for dessert.